Y'all, it has like a little bit of a sharp edge right here where some of the paint like dripped or something. I don't know. She might be going back. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mo. I know that you all can probably see like lines of demarcation because I just had a mask on for two hours. I just left the nail salon. And so I'm sorry that y'all can probably see that, but it is what it is. It's a real life. So um, I wanted to just first let you all know where I've been. Y'all, I have been working so hard um, on my store. If you all don't know, I own a clothing and accessories line card called Urbanly Chic. And I've also been... Um, I've also been working really hard. I have a, you know, a normal career where I work as um, a regulator and I am swamped to the max y'all. Like it's so bad. <clears throat> Maybe I'll film another video where I just talk about that. Like the stress of like having a normal job as well as trying to build your own brand and how it's just like, for me, it's not sustainable. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I cannot continue to live like this because I am stressed to the max. So that's where I've been y'all. Like if I were recording YouTube videos while being as swamped as I am, I ain't going to be sleeping and y'all is bad. Like I'm stressed to the max. So that's where I've been. That being said, I just left the nail salon and my nails, I like how they turned out. I got them cut way like super a lot shorter than they were, but y'all, I ain't never going like, I like how they turned out, you know, I mean, I was supposed to get coffin shape and I feel like he could have made it more narrow, but it don't even matter. Cause I ain't never going back there ever again. This man has cut me on three separate occasions. I'm so mad about it. Sorry. This is not just a video where I'm going to be clocking. Okay. But he has, he has, um, cut me so many times and like three on three separate occasions. Oh, okay. That's, that's, um, um, my best friend Kelly telling me about her nails bleeding because I'm clocking. I'm like, I'm so pissed. Da, 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 my nails, you know, but you know, part of having really pretty hands and nails is having like a really straight, nice cuticle line. How am I going to have that? How am I going to maintain that when you cut me up with the, with the drill every time I, well, not every time I come, but like every, every two times or so. So sorry, y'all, my arm got tired. <laughs> So, um, I'm sorry I've been in my A, but I am going to try to be more consistent. Although I am still swamped. I have so many things to do. Just pray for me y'all. And we just got to keep, I'll keep hustling. But at the same time, it's important to get rest. So I'm trying to balance my desire to progress in my business and in my career with the importance of me getting sleep. You know what I'm saying? Or the necessity of sleep. So I go to sleep sometimes and as a result, I'm not filming as many videos or haven't really been filming and I haven't been doing as much stuff like with my job and with my business because I go to sleep and I'm not staying up all night to get stuff done. I'm not staying up till three in the morning till four in the morning the way I was doing and that was not good for my mental health, blah, 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 blah. I can continue on. My auntie, one of my aunties is coming to visit for her birthday this coming week. So I want to go to Home Goods to see if I can find um, a cupcake stand. So I'm going to take y'all with me while I do that. And um, I'm going to find a new nail tech because I am not about to be paying $100 for my nails. A lot of times I'm not super pumped about how they turn out. And then you cut me up. No, man, this ain't finna work. I'm about to find a new nail tech in Chicago. I may have to drive my behind all the way out to the suburbs just to get a decent nail tech. I'm sorry. I need, I need to get like a tripod that I can use in the car. But um, that's you know, my channel's a work in progress. Okay. So just bear with me y'all. So next we're going to go to home goods. I'm right by my house and there's a home goods. That's like fire. That's right by here. There's also a TJ Maxx. Mm. I'm going to see how crowded home goods is. Like if I can't find parking, then I'm going to just go to TJ Maxx. But yeah, they gave me a lot of compliments on my eyeshadow. Y'all, I love how my wing liner turned out. I think in the past I didn't do it bold enough and that's why I was just kind of like, eh. but I love how this turned out. I'm sorry. My fingers all in the, um, in the lens. Woo. It's a lot. But anyway, so I'm going to take y'all with me to home goods and, uh, see what we can find. I, hopefully I don't buy a whole lot of stuff. I do want to entertain at my house more. Um, although I could be moving this fall or late summer, but I do want to entertain more. And I found some really pretty, 
um, stuff that I can use to entertain with. So maybe I'll show that to y'all when I get home, do like a little mini haul. But anyway, let's head over to um, Home Goods. Okay, y'all, I just made it to Home Goods and I'm about to get out. But before I do, I just want to show you all my nails up close. And y'all, I don't know if y'all can see this, but there is a cut and it hurts. I am so over it. Also, look at this. Let me see if y'all can see. Y'all can't really tell, but here I think it's from the foul. There's like an abrasion here. And then I have a cut on this finger that you all, I don't know if you all can really see it. When I tell y'all, but they did turn out cute. Although to me, that's not really coffin. It needs to be a little more narrow on the sides, but yeah. Anyway, let's go inside this though. different because I'm filming this video many many days after I actually went to home goods because a whole bunch of stuff happened y'all I ended up chipping one of my teeth it was just a hot mess so I'm just now showing y'all what I got so I'm gonna show you all the items I picked up from home goods I got a few things not a whole lot but I think what I got is amazing like super cute stuff and I'm gonna show you all some things I picked up at Burlington 
um, as well as a couple of other things I found at Home Goods a while ago. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Wait a minute, let me tell y'all this. So I found a new nail tech since I went to Home Goods, and this is SNS, and she did such a good job, y'all. So I fired my last one after he chopped my fingers all up and chopped my cuticles all up. You know what I'm saying? It was a hot mess. And I was so frustrated and I was done done. So I'm glad I found a good one. And it's not far from my house, it's within three miles of my house, which you know in Chicago is a little far, but you know, I'm I have no complaints. She did a great job. Like I said, this is SNS on my natural nails, and um she did a good job. So let me show you all first what's in this bag. Sorry, this is gonna be annoying. Hold on. Oh, I remember this. I may be returning this. I need to decide soon. So it's wrapped up like this and it matches the theme of my house. I will show you all uh, the living and dining areas so that you all can get an idea of what, you know, our decor theme is, which is an African theme. Because as you all know, if you've watched my other videos, my husband is Ghanaian. So we have an African theme in our house. But look at this, this pretty giraffe mask. It's super pretty, y'all. And it goes with our house so well like at first i was thinking i'm like i'm gonna end up returning that because i don't have anywhere to put it but this is so pretty like it goes with our house so well so i don't think i'm gonna return it i may just like put it in a closet or something until we move but it's super pretty and you all will see that gold is incorporated in our theme and this was only 19.99 so I think I'm gonna keep it. It's really substantial too. It's heavy, so super pretty. Y'all, it has like a little bit of a sharp edge right here where some of the paint like dripped or something. Oh no, she might be going back, okay. Y'all just bagged it up because it really may be, be going back to the store. I also picked this up now that I remember once I start un unwrapping it. Um, it says, friends fill your life with joy. It's a mug. And on the inside it says, friends fill your life with joy. And it's this pretty floral mug. And I got this from my friend, Kelly. She's like my bestest, best, best friend. It says designed in England, Portobello by design. It, this was only $4.99 and she loves uh, her Starbucks coffee. So I thought this was so pretty. So I plan to give this probably, I'm probably gonna incorporate this with her birthday gifts and stuff. Now I also, I might have to edit that out. I also picked up some cards and one of them was from my auntie and I forgot to give it to her. But aren't these super pretty, these birthday cards? I thought they were gorgeous and they were only $1.99 each and I think they're blank inside which is fine I don't mind I actually like writing like handwritten notes when I get people cards and here's one. Oh, this is for my friend <laughs> she's um, one of my friends is about to have a baby and I bought this card for her it says hello baby so these are gorgeous and I'm pretty sure I saw them near the checkout lane and I went ahead and picked them up now let me show you all a couple of things I um, let me show you one other thing that I got during that uh, home goods run. I picked up this table and it's one of those folding tables. Maybe I'll like undo it and show you all, but this thing, you know, this cheetah print goes with the theme of our house. So that's why I thought this was so perfect. It was only $14.99. So that was a good deal. And um, I'll like undo it you know, fix it, set it up. <laughs> it's like, I can't talk. <laughs> um, it's so nice to be recording again, but I'll, I will set this up so that you all can see. Oh, there's a picture if you're not familiar with these. And I got it to use like in the living room and stuff so that if I want to eat in the living room, I can like while watching TV, although I rarely watch TV and I rarely sit in my living room. But it's nice that I have that option with this table. So I'm so excited that I can unwrap it. Maybe I'll use it tonight. And let me show you all these. My husband and I have started like kind of sort of collecting um, couples mugs. So these are some Raydun mugs. One says lover, the other says fighter. These are hilarious. So I'll let y'all guess who the fighter is between the two of us. 
Okay, so here's another set of mugs. One says, you're mine, I'm yours. So these little mugs are so cute. These were only $5.99, and then the Ray Dunn one, ones <laughs> were $12.99. So that's a super good deal, because these are really thick and nice and just super good quality. So now I want to show you all what I picked up from Burlington. And y'all, I, I, my house used to be the spot, okay? And then once I moved to Chicago, that changed. And um, so I plan to like entertain more and have people over more. So I have been thinking I want to get some, maybe I shouldn't be. I have been thinking that I want to get some um, like pretty serving wear and things like that. Oh, I didn't bring everything in here. I need to remember. Maybe I'll just insert a clip of the serving spoons I picked up because they are gorgeous. And I picked up some of these trays. Like, look at this tray. Super pretty. With the various melons and stuff. Or are these, not melons, citrus. With the various citrus. <laughs> oh, Lord. Hold on, I gotta get up and pick up this other stuff. So I also picked up this tray. First of all, let me tell you all how much this was. This was only $3.99. Okay, and these are Catherine Maldonado. I think that's how you pronounce her brand. Lord, it's Catherine Melandrino. I said Maldonado. This is a pretty tray as well. So I thought this would be good for fruit, you know, um, put the dip here, vegetables, put the dip here. So that's why I picked this up. I also picked up this amazing platter. Oh, wait a minute. This was $9.99. $9.99! That is excellent. And this um, huge platter, look at this. <clears throat> like maybe spread meat or something like that on here. This is only $9.99. And it's big, y'all. It's like super big. It's a huge platter. So I had to get that $9.99. Come on now. And I saw this, this was just like an impulse thing. I saw it as I was headed to check out and I just picked all this up. Cause I was like, somebody gonna buy this, it's gonna be gone. And I need it for when I entertain. This bowl with this pretty braided pattern detail. I just think it's super gorgeous. Ooh, this is gonna be a cute thumbnail. $7.99. And then, oh. I also picked up these bowls. Aren't these gorgeous? So um, I'm going to use these as, you know, serving bowls or whatever. And they're just going to go so well with this. You know, it's just going to be so girly and pretty. So I can't wait to start using this. These bowls were only $7.99. So that's excellent. Super cheap with this pretty iridescent finish. I just think this is gorgeous. So that is all I got from Burlington. Let me show you all two paintings I picked up at Home Goods that I think are so pretty. And in order to do that, I need to like get up and show you because one is already hanging up and then the other is over here in the living room and it's really huge. And it'll give you all a chance to see what this area kind of looks like. Um, so just bear with me. Hey y'all, so <clears throat> sorry I was sitting down. So this is what this looks like. This looks a mess right now because I'm filming right here, but normally this is not here. This is in the center. This is in the center of the table and it's super pretty. So this is what the dining area looks like. And I may even insert a clip where you all can see it without the stuff on the table. Um, actually, let me move the stuff off the table so you all can see what it really looks like. All right, I just took everything off the table. So this is how this room looks. This is obviously natural light. The blinds are open. I still don't have curtains, y'all. Just pray for me. But this is how this actually looks. Um, and as you can see, we have an African theme. We plan to change this chandelier out. It's just, I can't stand it. But I kind of paused decorating because I don't think we're gonna be here for that much longer. So, I'm just stepping back more so you all can get a full 
view. I just love it so much in here. And all of it is designed by me, decorated by me. You know what I'm saying? So there's my husband and I. So, and we'll do a proper home tour, but basically everything in here, not everything, but a whole lot of stuff in here is from Home Goods. So here's a painting I got from Home Goods, and it was $40, and I love it, y'all. I just think it goes with the room so well, and I do not rush to decorate. Like, I take my time because you find the most perfect things when you take your time that complete, you know, that align with your vision. So, like, these two I found at separate times, and look at how pretty they are. Let me just get close up. I'm not going to go into detail about everything, but yeah. So I just wanted you all to see this room so you could see this painting and how it really goes so well with our theme. So here's the living room, which is still a work in progress. Once again, I don't have curtains, but ooh, that would be a super pretty thumbnail. But yeah, so here's the other painting I got. Y'all. Tell me that's not gorgeous. It's so pretty. So, so pretty. And I think what we're going to do, since we have this huge mirror right here, is I think we're going to put it over this, over the television, because we're not going to mount the TV. And it actually will fit. Like, I held it up when my aunt was here, and it's not too big. Um, this was 70 or $80. Oh, here's the price. This was, yeah, that was 70. This was $70, and I think it's definitely worth it. Worth it. You know, it has a pretty kente pattern all throughout her head wrap. And it's like this in the back. So it's, and it's super lightweight. You know what I'm saying? So let me show you all these paintings, though. I found these at Target. These super pretty mud cloth um, paintings and... These were 80. There's a set of two and they were $80. So yeah, that sums that up. I want to show you all some artwork. Let me go get it real quick. Um, that we probably won't use in this house, but I just want to show you all because I found it and it's amazing. And I want to show y'all just a sec. Okay. All this artwork I found on Mar uh, Facebook marketplace. So I just want to show you all because I just want to let you all know that you can go there and find like really cool stuff and really unique stuff. And I can't remember where this painting is from. I want to say it's an East African country. And there was a guy who was selling it on Marketplace and he bought all this artwork and was like, I'm never going to use it. So I picked this up and it was super cheap, y'all. I wish I could remember how much I paid, but when I tell y'all, it was like super, super, super cheap. Like he was tripping. <laughs> That's how cheap it was. So I also have this y'all. I found this lady on Facebook Marketplace and she partners with an artist in Malawi and she sells this artwork for him. So this is one piece I picked up from her. I picked up a lot of pieces from her because once again, the price was super good. Not as cheap as the first guy, I haven't shown you all everything from the first guy either, but look at this. It's like amazing, right? It's so pretty. And so I just picked these pieces up because we're going to always have some sort of African theme in our house like forever because we, I love African culture and my husband's African and we want to honor his culture and especially, you know, while we're living here in the States. So Aren't these amazing? They're just so gorgeous. So I picked all of these up from that same lady. And then the rest is from, like I think this is from the guy. Yeah, this is from the guy. Look at this. It's so long. It's absolutely gorgeous. And so of course, you know, having an African theme and everything, I want African artwork. So I'm so glad I was able to find these pieces. I actually picked this up in Ghana during my first trip ever. And I think it's just amazing. And it was so cheap, y'all. Like, it was so inexpensive. And here's the final piece from this gentleman. He was bugging, because this is absolutely stunning. Look at this. Ooh. I'm trying to. 
<laughs> it's kind of hard for me to, but it is amazing. And y'all, I paid like almost anything for it. You know what I'm saying? It was so cheap. So I won. That's it. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Let me know if y'all want to see more home goods videos, home shopping videos, home decorating type of content because I love home decor and I don't intend to do a whole lot more to this place, but I still have more to do. And I can do a home tour, show you all some other rooms in the house. I have four bedrooms, including my inventory room. If you don't know, I have a store, Urban Link Chic. You can visit my website, urbanlinkchic.com. So yeah, I can show you all, you know, and I can go through each room in depth and tell you all like where I found everything, how much I paid. Some of this stuff still got the price tags on it, y'all. I just be wretched sometimes. But anyway, I don't want to ramble. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Um, I'm about to film another video because <laughs> um, I took a long pause with recording and stuff because y'all, my, my job, my day job, I have my business, but my day job, crazy right now. So there was no way. It was like, if I was, if I was going to film content, I was going to sleep. You know what I'm saying? So I chose sleep. <laughs> so thank y'all for bearing with me. Thank y'all for watching my videos, subscribing, liking them, commenting, all of that. So let me go ahead and move on to the next video so I can keep the content flowing. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. And um, be blessed, stay safe, and I'll talk to you later.